Did you know that X-ray light sources, such as synchrotrons and free electron lasers, can produce beams a billion times brighter than medical X-rays? This extraordinary intensity allows scientists to peer into the atomic and molecular structures of materials with unprecedented clarity, revolutionizing fields from drug discovery to renewable energy. What groundbreaking innovations might emerge as these tools become even more advanced? X-ray light sources are among the most powerful tools in modern science, capable of unraveling the mysteries of matter at the atomic and molecular levels. These facilities generate intense beams of X-rays that researchers use to study everything from the structure of proteins and viruses to the properties of advanced materials like semiconductors and superconductors. Their applications span a wide range of fields, including medicine, energy, environmental science, and technology, making them indispensable for both fundamental research and industrial innovation. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. While countries like the United States, Japan, and members of the European Union have long led the way in developing these cutting-edge facilities, China is now emerging as a formidable player in this domain. With ambitious projects and groundbreaking advancements, Chinese researchers are pushing the boundaries of what X-ray light sources can achieve. From constructing some of the world's brightest synchrotrons to pioneering new technologies in free electron lasers, China's contributions could reshape the global landscape of scientific discovery. What lies ahead as these developments unfold? While existing X-ray light sources, such as synchrotrons and free electron lasers FELs, have revolutionized scientific research, they are not without limitations. One major constraint is the brightness and coherence of the X-ray beams. Although current facilities produce highly intense X-rays, some experiments, such as imaging ultrafast processes at the atomic scale or studying extremely small or weakly scattering samples, require even brighter and more coherent beams than what many existing sources can provide. Another challenge lies in the temporal resolution. Many dynamic processes in chemistry, biology, and material science occur on femtosecond, quadrillionth of a second, timescales. While FELs have made strides in capturing these fleeting moments, their access is limited, and the demand for beam time far exceeds availability. This bottleneck slows the pace of discovery in fields like enzyme catalysis, phase transitions in materials, and photochemical reactions. Furthermore, the size and cost of these facilities present practical barriers. Traditional synchrotrons and FELs are massive, often spanning several kilometers, and require significant financial investment to build and maintain. This limits their proliferation and makes them accessible only to researchers in certain regions or well-funded institutions, creating disparities in global scientific progress. To address these limitations, there is an urgent need for next-generation X-ray light sources that are not only more powerful but also more compact, affordable, and efficient. Advances in accelerator technologies, such as plasma wakefield acceleration or superconducting radio frequency cavities, could enable smaller yet more capable facilities. These innovations would democratize access to advanced X-ray tools, allowing a broader range of scientists to tackle pressing challenges, from designing better batteries and understanding climate change to developing life-saving drugs. As the demand for precision and speed in scientific research grows, pushing the boundaries of X-ray light source technology becomes essential. And with countries like China investing heavily in groundbreaking designs, the stage is set for transformative developments that could redefine what's possible in science and industry. China's new X-ray light source, the High Energy Photon Source HEPS, represents a monumental leap in the capabilities of synchrotron radiation facilities. Located in Beijing and set to become one of the brightest and most advanced fourth-generation synchrotron light sources in the world, HEPS is designed to push the boundaries of scientific research across multiple disciplines. Its cutting-edge features and technologies promise to unlock unprecedented opportunities for discovery and innovation. Design and Technology 1. Ultra-low emittance HEPS boasts an electron beam emittance of less than 0.06 nanometers rad, making it one of the lowest emittance synchrotron sources globally. This ultra-low emittance translates to highly focused and coherent X-ray beams, enabling researchers to study materials at atomic and sub-nanometer scales with extraordinary precision. 
2. High brightness and coherence. The facility generates X-rays that are orders of magnitude brighter and more coherent than those from third-generation synchrotrons. This allows for high-resolution imaging, diffraction, and spectroscopy experiments that were previously impossible or required prohibitively long exposure times. 3. Compact Storage Ring Despite its immense power, HEPS employs a compact storage ring design with a circumference of approximately 1.3 kilometers. Advanced magnet technologies, including strong multipole magnets and insertion devices, help confine and manipulate the electron beam to maximize photon output. 4. Versatile Beamlines HEPS will feature over 90 beamlines, each tailored to specific experimental needs. These beamlines will support techniques such as X-ray diffraction, small angle scattering, tomography, and inelastic scattering, catering to a wide array of scientific investigations. 5. Sustainability and Efficiency The facility incorporates state-of-the-art superconducting radio frequency cavities and energy-efficient systems to reduce operational costs and environmental impact while maintaining high performance. Potential Applications Across Fields 1. Materials Science HEPs will enable researchers to probe the atomic structure and dynamics of novel materials, such as high-temperature superconductors, 2D materials like graphene, and quantum materials. Understanding these systems could lead to breakthroughs in electronics, computing, and energy storage. By observing lithium-ion movement within battery electrodes at the nanoscale, scientists can design next-generation batteries with higher capacity, faster charging rates, and longer lifespans. Two. Life Sciences and Medicine The bright and coherent X-rays will allow researchers to determine the structures of complex biomolecules, including membrane proteins and large protein complexes, at near-atomic resolution. This knowledge is critical for rational drug design and understanding disease mechanisms. HEPs can be used to study the effects of radiation on biological tissues, aiding in the development of more effective cancer therapies and minimizing side effects. 3. Environmental Science Scientists can use HEPs to investigate the behavior of pollutants in soil, water, and air, helping to develop strategies for remediation and sustainable resource management. By studying catalysts and chemical reactions involved in carbon capture and utilization, HEPs could contribute to technologies that mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. 4. Cultural Heritage and Archaeology the facility's ability to perform non-invasive, high-resolution imaging makes it ideal for analyzing artifacts, paintings, and historical documents. Researchers can uncover hidden details about ancient civilizations without damaging precious cultural heritage items. 5. Industry and Technology HEPs can assist in optimizing semiconductor fabrication processes by providing detailed insights into defects, interfaces, and material properties at the nanoscale. The facility's capabilities in stress analysis and microstructural characterization can enhance the safety and performance of aerospace components. Transformative Potential What sets HEPs apart is not just its technical prowess but also its potential to democratize access to advanced X-ray science. By hosting a diverse array of beamlines and fostering international collaboration, China aims to position HEPs as a global hub for scientific discovery. Its integration with other cutting-edge facilities, such as the Shanghai Soft X-ray Free Electron Laser and the upcoming Dalian Coherent Light Source, further amplifies its impact. Approximately 50 kilometers, 30 miles, north of Beijing's city center, the final stages of construction are underway for what is anticipated to become the world's brightest X-ray light source. Scheduled to go online later this year, the HEPs will drive groundbreaking research across a wide range of disciplines, including materials science, biomedicine, and physics. The HEPs will produce X-ray beams with a photon density a trillion times brighter than the surface of the sun, achieved through their extraordinary focus and precision. According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of High Energy Physics, which leads the project, HEPs is expected to outperform similar facilities in Europe, Asia, and the United States. Once HEPs reaches its designed brightness, it will be able to unveil the microscopic world with unprecedented clarity, said Pan Weiman, the project director at the Institute, in an interview with China Science Daily on Thursday. It provides a powerful tool for manipulating matter and observing its entire life cycle. The facility has now entered the light commissioning phase, 
marking the start of integrated system testing using real photon beams. A critical step for fine-tuning the machine before trial operations commence, Pan explained. Since the 1970s, over 70 light sources have been constructed worldwide to enable scientists to peer deep into the structure of matter. From decoding virus structures to developing advanced aerospace materials, batteries, and semiconductors. These massive installations work by accelerating electrons to near light speed and steering them with powerful magnets. As the electrons change direction, they emit high-energy photons, which researchers use to probe the atomic and molecular composition of materials. HEPs represents a so-called fourth-generation light source, a significant technological leap forward that employs ultra-low emittance storage rings to maintain tightly focused and stable electron beams. This advancement allows scientists to study smaller structures, faster processes, and weaker signals than ever before. Its designed brightness is roughly 10 times greater than that of existing fourth-generation facilities, such as the extremely brilliant source at the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility in Grenoble, France. Pan and his team emphasized the importance of independent innovation and technological self-reliance in developing HEPs, core components. We've overcome 90% of the technical challenges. Our ultimate goal is to achieve full domestic production, Pan stated. One notable innovation is a novel injection and extraction method that enhances the accelerator's efficiency while minimizing its environmental impact. Instead of discarding low-energy electron beams after use, HEPs recycles them by sending them back to an earlier stage, where they merge with fresh particles and are re-accelerated. This approach reduces energy consumption, improves beam quality, and helps address the constraints imposed by the facility's densely packed magnetic structure. With a total investment of 4.8 billion yuan, $665 million, HEPs is one of the key national science infrastructure projects prioritized during China's 13th five-year plan. Construction began in June 2019 and is expected to take just over six years. To date, the accelerator and the first batch of 14 user beamlines have been completed. HEPs will complement China's existing Shanghai Synchrotron Radiation Facility, one of the country's flagship third-generation light sources. Since its launch in 2009, the facility has hosted over 10,000 users and supports thousands of experiments annually. Despite expanding to include 34 beamlines and 46 experimental stations, demand remains exceptionally high, with some beamlines booked months in advance and fierce competition for access. HEPs is expected to alleviate this pressure significantly. By providing unparalleled brightness and precision, HEPs promises to push the boundaries of scientific exploration and open new frontiers in understanding the fundamental properties of matter. If you like the content in this episode, Please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's technology advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.